how much money does Charlie D'Amelio make? I get it. You're watching this video and you want an answer because you just are curious how this girl makes her coin. Okay, she's wearing Gucci, she's wearing Louis Vuitton, traveling in first class and living in a mansion. How did this TikTok star make all her cash? Now, I get it. You know, you want a simple straight up answer and I'm gonna be a douchebag and I'll give it to you exactly. I know you guys could easily Google an answer of someone with net worth, but you guys really want the truth. And today I'm gonna give you the truth. If you're new to my channel, my name's Jade and I'm gonna quickly give you some backstory on who I am because I actually work in the influencer marketing industry. So I have a little bit of context of where I'm getting these numbers from. At the end of the video, I will give my assumption of how much money this girl makes, but make sure you keep on watching because I'm literally gonna explain step by step how influencer marketing works and how you're able to understand that these people aren't just posting little dancing videos. There's something more to their business that actually includes some strategy. If you wanna know more, all I gotta do is keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I hope you didn't click all the way to the end of the video. I know I would get bored and easily do, but I promise this is gonna be worth your time, okay? So let me backtrack. I'm the founder of a company called PBJ App. And in our company, we actually work with influencers to develop text message marketing solutions. So anyways, we work very closely with influencers and I can't name names, but let's just say I have learned from some of the bigger stars a little bit how they charge their brand deals and make their money. So this is where my numbers are coming from. Again, I'm not like a direct source from Charlie, but I have worked with people that are very, very close to her. Actually, I have one of my friends who's pretty popular on TikTok. Let's go call her to see how much money she's making right now. Oh my God. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, I was just watching TikTok. You just disrupted me. I was watching my own videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I know you're rich Carolyn on TikTok. How much money do you make? I'm filming a video. Can you tell the viewers? Jade, I told you I can't talk about that because I'm in the middle of a legal battle and um, I'm trying to hide my money. So in case I get sued, like they can't take it from me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you just want to give an estimate? Like, can you at least give us something? It's, a, it's above like two figures. Two like per, per video, like per, a branded video. Okay, okay, two figures, yeah. And not like a figure, like a person, like a figurine, but like like mm. money wise. No, like, yeah, like digits. This is like a business yeah, channel. Okay, we're not, we're not stupid. Yeah. Well, thanks. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so that wasn't very helpful, but let's just start with a breakdown of how much a TikToker makes right now in 2020. So let's start with the first revenue stream. The first way Charlie could make money is through brand deals. Now, to understand how much an influencer charges a brand to promote their product, let's understand the first term which is CPM. This stands for cost per impression or cost per a thousand views. So Charlie ranks in around like 10 million views per TikTok and an industry CPM is around 20 to $50, but that's based on YouTube and Instagram, right? So for a TikTok integration, it's different because brands don't necessarily know how to quantify their return on investment for TikTok ads, right? So it's a little bit lower. If I had to say, you know, say Charlie brings in 10 million views for a TikTok video, I think she would be roughly charging around $50,000. Now that is a rough range. It could be way less, way more. I actually have a friend on TikTok that brings in a million views per video and some of the sponsorships are only $1,000 per post. And although it's still a lot of money, like it's probably not a fair scale. I really believe like there's a lack of education in TikTok. So brands don't even know what's valuable to them. So they're going to just throw any number that goes out there. And if an influencer accepts it, they'll do it. And honestly, I can go into another video of how influencers get scammed from brands on TikTok just because there's so much unknown. But for Charlie, I think since she's one of the top creators, $50,000 for brandy is actually very reasonable. Now, if you don't agree with me, let me break it down. I did some research. Charlie recently did a brand deal with a company called Ralph Lauren. It's like this clothing company. And you know, Charlie has over 40 million followers. Not all 40 million followers will buy a product that she says she wears, but 1% might. So if 40 million people see her, you know, 1% is still 400,000 people. And if a jacket of Ralph Lauren costs around $50, you know, you multiply $50 times 400,000 and that's still $20 million potential income. And I think that that's pretty ROI positive. You're spending $50,000 and you're getting 20 million. I think that's fair. So as advertisers, that's the number one thing they're thinking about. You know, how much attention can you capture and how much revenue will I get out of it? And that's how typically they judge your worth. So for Charlie, I think since she has a massive audience, $50,000 is actually very reasonable. I was actually doing some research again and Charlie seems to do like a brand deal every month or so. So she's starting out with $50,000 a month, which is actually really, really good. Again, these are all estimates. I have no idea, but based on my four years of industry experience, I think that's very reasonable. All right, so the second way Charlie could make money is through events. Now, 
Now, due to the unfortunate coronavirus, I don't think she's doing much events anymore, but she did charge $100 per meet and greet at one of her meetups. I don't know the turnout of it, but it seemed like she actually donated all the proceeds to a foundation. I don't necessarily think she profits from events directly, but let me tell you, even if Charlie doesn't make money from a meet and greet or an event or speaking, having meetups can really grow her brand. So I really think she does it out of also, you know, the care of her foundation, but also, you know, if you're meeting thousands of people, you know, they're most likely going to buy your product again, which leads me to my third way she makes money. Let's just say she doesn't make money from events due to everything going on this year and the fact that she donated her proceeds. The third way she makes money is through her merch. By establishing a really close connection with her audience through meetups, she's able to upsell on products. Charlie has a store called Charlie D'Amelio Shop, and let's just take a look at her average cost of a product. Let's see, Charlie D'Amelio merch. Let's see, she has a store. Oh, it's on Shopify. Cool. Okay, so she has a couple items ranging from $25 to $50. Now, lucky for you guys, I actually, again, used to work in e-commerce. My dad's a Shopify expert, so I kind of have an understanding of like an estimate of how much money people make out of merchandise. I would say looking at the quality of her products, they look a little bit on the lower quality side. I mean, just to be very honest, there's no branded hoodie. It looks like it's actually print on demand, which basically means they never really make the products. They work with another manufacturer to make it while someone's buying it. And it looks like the designs are quite simple and low ink usage. Now, I'm not sure the relationship she has with her manufacturer, but if she's pricing her hoodie at $3, I definitely think she could be taking home around $20 to $25, give or take. It really depends on the relationship with her manufacturers. I don't know how many people are really utilizing her merchandise. I haven't seen one person really talk about her hoodie. Honestly, there's not much unique design to it, so I don't know how well it's selling. But due to her fame and right now hype, I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt that she's selling still a lot. So I would say her range of sales would be around $25,000 a month. Let's just say that. Now, the last way a creator can make money is through YouTube AdSense or a live stream. So TikTok actually gives money to creators when they live stream content, which Charlie seems like she's doing. And Charlie also has a YouTube channel with millions of subscribers. So I definitely can say that due to Charlie's upload period on YouTube, it's definitely a little bit lower. She's only uploading maybe twice a month with a few videos hitting 10 million views. And her TikTok lives are definitely ways that she's generating tons of cash flow, but TikTok actually limits how much money you make per live stream. I would say per month, Charlie could be making additional revenue of anywhere from two to $10,000 with these additional revenue streams. I don't know exactly just because it looked like her YouTube channel wasn't monetized when I was clicking on it. And her TikTok live streams do have a cap of making around $2,000 per live stream. I have a second channel called The Green Room where I interviewed some top TikTok creators that have millions of followers and they confirmed to me as well that TikTok only limits you of how long you can live stream. So you're basically capping out at like two to $4,000 and it's still good, good money, but um, definitely not, you know, the full capacity of how much she could be making. All right, so now that you know the ways Charlie is making revenue, let's talk about how much money she makes a year. So doing the quick math, if she's making $50,000 per brand deal, $25,000 from her merch, and maybe additional five to $10,000 off her live streams or YouTube ad revenue, I think Charlie's ranking in around 80 grand a month. It's still a very vague estimate, but over the course of a year, Charlie D'Amelio makes $960,000. So she's basically a millionaire as of 2020. Definitely believable to me. I think that actually she should be making more. Now due to her reach, her talent, I mean, she can dance. She's also been on TV shows, Super Bowl. Honestly, Charlie should be making way more. If I were her manager, which I'm not, I would say 20 million would be very reasonable for her. A million is just the start. Now I know for sure other YouTubers like James, Emma are still making that amount. So that's the only reason why I'm saying it, but this is definitely still a new start for Charlie. She definitely has room to grow. And let me just add, being an influencer is not about how much money you make. It's literally not. The only reason why I'm saying she should be making more is because running a business is not about making more cash, just fuel your ego. It's about building a product that helps and reaches more people. Now, I actually have my own company. It's called PBJ app, like I mentioned. And you know, we don't have millions of followers and millions of fans, but what we do have is we serve our customer base. We help people with text message marketing. We have clients, I have a team, and it's not a multi-gajillion dollar company, but you don't need to do that to help people and be successful. Now, I think for Charlie, she's done amazing things in under a year. Now, it's a matter of time where she decides, is she gonna really make this a brand and a business maybe that has intellectual property, right? Maybe she starts a real clothing store with actual products that maybe are more quality oriented. I don't know, I'm not gonna shit on it. But I definitely think that if she decides to use her influence right now to make it a long-term business, you know, it's definitely reasonable she could be making a lot more and helping more people, you know, hiring more people, giving more jobs to people. She's a dancer, she could start a dance school, you know, raise money to donate to other 
areas, I definitely think making money is not a bad thing. It's just a matter of like, what are you doing with it? And what's your next steps? You know, how are you using it to help the world? And you know, it's up to Charlie for what she wants to do. I think she's an amazing person and so young and already so successful. This is not a hate video. It's just me saying that Charlie has so much potential to do something amazing. And since I also have my own company, it makes me think, you know, what could I be doing to help more people? Not just more, make more money, right? And I think that's the most important thing. If you're watching this video and you're not a YouTuber and influencer, but you do want to start, you don't need to make a million dollars to have a successful career. You can be making $46,000 a year from making YouTube videos, live a very, very comfortable life and have fun while doing it. And that's exactly why I actually started my YouTube channel. If you guys want to learn more about how to grow a YouTube channel, TikTok and everything, because I teach all about social media, I'll link below my playlist about all of those videos in the description bar. I'll also link the video of how I make my money as well during this time. So maybe you guys could start your own little venture and help more people, right? The reason why I make these videos is to help you guys start something awesome. Charlie probably makes videos to make people smile. Definitely think people should have a why when making stuff. And it's super important to also be curious about the money, but not let it control you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you guys want to see more videos about how other Hype House members make money, I could definitely do my deep dive analysis. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, stay inside. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you guys want to be the next comment winner, all you gotta do is comment below. Yeah. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.